with its glinting gold custom paint job, there's no mistaking this bling bike as the one ridden by reigning Olympic champion, Greg Van Avermaet. This is his giant TCR Advanced SL. But before I tell you about all the cool details on this beautifully adorned bike, subscribe to GCN if you haven't already and click the little bell icon so that you get a notification every time we upload a video as it helps support the channel and improve our content. Van Avermaer's bike has got some really cool new components on that I've not seen till now, but before I go into the details on those, we have to talk about that absolutely stunning paint job, which I'm told Van Avermaer had input on himself. So my compliments, he's clearly got impeccable taste. So aside from the glittering gold uh, paint job, which is stunning, there's some really nice details and graphics on there. So on the down tube, there are all these major victories to date. So we've got a little map of Brazil for his Rio Olympics win. We've got a trident signifying his Terreno Adriatico victory and also a cobblestone for his Pairu Bay win. And then as we move to the back of the bike, the gold fades into this black. And it's, it's just really simple, but really nice. It just looks great. And then at the back here, we've got a GBA logo as well on the rear stays, just above the brake bridge. The TCR has an integrated seat post design, which you don't see on many bikes these days. And it means that when you buy the bike, you have it cut to length, and then this clamp that holds the saddle rails is slotted on top. And there's a bit of adjustment there if you want to tweak the height of the saddle. And if you were wondering what an Olympic champion sits on, well, it appears to be a new Kdex Boost saddle, which is a, well, it's a truncated nose saddle. These are becoming more popular, quite a few brands have them out now so they're slightly shorter than a traditional longer nose saddle which means you can relieve some pressure uh, at the perineum where the rider sits but still give support to the sit bones here and quite like that it feels quite nice and almost padded and spongy you may have noticed that the brake is a rim brake interestingly van avermaer still favoring rim brakes and not disc brakes seems to be a fairly even split uh, in the peloton at the moment between rim and disc next up i have to talk about Greg's wheels. Now these are the brand new Kdex 65 tubulars. They're a brand new wheel from, well, the new component brand Kdex. And this is the first time that I've managed to get my hands on, well, the carbon. And uh, as I mentioned, these are the tubular version, but there is a tubeless version as well if you want a tubeless tire, but the pros still favor tubular tires. Now, something really cool about these is they appear to have carbon spokes. And I just saw uh, Mickey Shah from the CCC team earlier, just over by their team bus, and he says he's really impressed with the stiffness of these wheels. Glued onto the wheels, we've got Vittoria Corsa G tubular tyres. These are 26 millimetres, and I just confirmed that by measuring them with the verniers. They're coming out exactly at 26 millimetres wide. But I have to do a free hub sound check because I've never seen these wheels before. I want to know what the free hubs sound like, and I'm sure you do too. Ooh, it's a loud one. Sounds good. Loud. <laughs> and before you ask, I'm going to do GVA saddle height as well. The wind just caught the wheel. <laughs> 66 and a half centimetres. And this frame, in case you're wondering, is a size medium. So a bit smaller than what I would ride. So I'm going to do his reach as well from uh, the centre of his bars tip of his saddle 62 centimeters for that and he appears to be running oh it's a big stem that one 13 centimeter stem which transitions us nicely into the cockpit area of Greg's bike so he's using a contact SLR giant bike it's an integrated bar and stem which is nice and aero like that he's got a mount for his computer in the middle and the cables are run really neatly through it and then nicely tidied up with this piece of sort of well electrical hosing that just sort of holds all the cables together the mechanics have done a nice job of that and then he's got sprint shifters on there as well very cool he's certainly a, a handy rider in the sprints so i'm sure he makes good use of those and then he's got jura ace di2 throughout so we've got the jura ace levers at the front the chain set with the jura ace power meter on it it's a 5339 it's also using 172.5 cranks same as me, probably copied me. And uh, he's got his Dura Ace cassette on the back there, which is an 1130. 
Now I really have to weigh this bike. When I lifted it over and carried it over here, it felt very light. So I can't wait to see how much it weighs. I'm gonna take out the CCC bottles, but I should point out it is a full uh, race build. So it's got a power meter on it. It's got its Dura Ace pedals on. It doesn't have the head unit on um, and doesn't have a race number on it, which would have a tiny bit of weight. But I think this is gonna be really light. So place your bets now. Is this gonna be 6.8? over 6.8 or under 6.8. Ooh! <laughs> that's really light, 6.67. That's one of the lightest pro bikes I've found, especially with the deeper 65 millimeter wheels. And if they put the, the 42s in, then it'd be even lighter still. The mechanics might have to add some weight to this one. <laughs> but that's really impressive. And I forgot to mention the width of Greg's bars. I just did them with the tape measure and they're 40 centimeters wide. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at Greg Van Avermaer's bike as much as I have showing it to you. It's my kind of bike this, I hope you can tell I really like it. The paint job and everything, but I love a really lightweight, stiff bike that's kind of got aero features on it as well, like the deep wheels and cockpit. If you have enjoyed this, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to GCN, share it with your friends, and to watch another pro bike video, then click on Van Avermaer's massive stem.